This is your basic torque converter. This is the side of the torque converter that actually hooks up to the engine. So the flywheel mounts on this side and then the engine mounts into the flywheel. If you look at the other side, these weigh about 40 pounds. Uh, this is the side that hooks into the transmission. So the idea behind a torque converter is to take the engine's rotation and provide a viscous coupling or uh, a, a way of getting the power from the engine back to the transmission without having to have a clutch in the middle of it. So when you open the torque converter up, what you find is two sets of vanes. You can see why this weighs 40 pounds or so. It's made out of solid steel that's about a quarter inch thick in the casing, maybe five or six millimeters here. So this entire casing is spinning at engine speed. On this side you have the turbine which freewheels and connects through this spline to the transmission. On this side you have the pump which is locked to the casing and then in the middle you have this device called the stator and its job is to help redirect fluid depending on how fast the transmission is going. It also has a spline down its center which hooks into a one-way clutch so that it can only move in one direction. So when this thing is running, the entire casing is spinning and it acts like a centrifugal pump. So it is essentially slinging fluid through these veins and giving them a, a, a momentum from that fluid being slung outward. It comes out of these veins and hits into these veins in the turbine and causes it to start spinning. And as it spins, it's sending its motion through to the transmission through this spline right here. And then in the center of all this is the stator and its job is to do two different things. When the car is just starting, its job is to take the fluid flow that's coming out of this inner portion of the turbine and redirect it so it doesn't slow the engine down on this side. And then as everything speeds up and the car is running, its job is sort of to get out of the way and let the fluid uh, flow naturally. So you've got two different problems that are happening depending on whether you're accelerating the car or whether the car's at a high operational speed. And the stator is just helping the fluid flow. Torque converter provides minimum drag depending on the speed at which the engine and the car is going.